After what happened, everything is different now. Your home has been compromised, and there are people hiding among us. She looks like me, but I don't recognize her. Nasneen, if you would, catch us up kind of with where we were last season and where we returned to the show. Sure. So season one, um, really, you end with chaos. Um, everybody has questions. Everything. Everyone's left with question marks. For Claire in particular, she's grappling with the idea of like this thing that she's been indoctrinated with and brainwashed to believe is true. She's really confronted to question it, um, and she has a baby. So now she has to choose. Season two is all about the unraveling of her life and and a lot of self reflection and self discovery. And I think that's true for every character on the show. It, they're they're finding themselves in a way, questioning their own beliefs and their own, um, you know, trajectories and their own uh, journeys through life, and that, that's I think the beauty of season two. And Betty, you're new on season two. What can mm -hmm. you tell us about your character Naya? Well, I can tell you that she is a former FBI agent, <laughs> and she's hired by the Office of Interchange um, to help them hunt the spies that have infiltrated their world, and she is. A devout Muslim, which is not played into too heavily, but that is very much a part of who she is and a part of what she grapples with as she discovers the new world. You often, as Nate, have some scenes that are kind of dark, or your character's a little, you know, got people over a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> what are some perks of playing kind of a, a little bit of a meanie? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, she's, you can say that. Um, you know, the, the beauty of it is I've I've played like the straight-laced character for so long and then coming into this I had this real great opportunity to tap into a darker side and play with that. Everyone wants, the whole point of acting is to explore parts of ourselves or other people that you don't necessarily inhabit every day. It's not part of your core essence, but it's just so fun to play a bad guy. And also she's not really a bad guy. It depends who you ask, you know, she doesn't think she's a bad guy. She's a victim of circumstance. She's a victim of um, just, uh, you know, maybe her destiny. And uh, that's the beauty of the show. It, it, it really goes between nature versus nurture. And, and for her, it's really, she's been nurtured in this way. She's brainwashed, she's indoctrinated to believe what she's doing is right. So she justifies everything. She, in her mind, she's not a baddie. And then again, it, it, the beauty of it is, is it talks about radicalization outside of the context of religion. Again, very timely with what the world's going through. But to humanize someone who's doing bad things and to understand why they're doing them, those things, is the only way we can stop it from happening. And I think, again, Justin is genius because he, he knows how to give that to you in a storyline that's fascinating and fun to watch, but also really under, uh, the undertone of it is tapped into t current events right now. Let's say a portal opens up. Your others are on the other side. They come through. What do you think they're like, and what would you say to them? <laughs> We, we really need yeah. to come up with answers to this. I, know. Are asking this. I think it's so great. Well, mm -hmm. I think I would love to know everything about her life. Is she, is she married with children? Did she <laughs> decide to stay in vet school? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. there's, you know, there's so many choices I've made and so many paths I've mm -hmm. gone astray from. Um, to pick another path, so yeah. I'm curious to see what she, what path she chose to stay on. And, yeah. Same. I mean, I'd say, did you go to, did you end up going to medical school? Um, what's your favorite food? Uh, all these little <laughs> things that you're like, you know, you wonder where you get these things from. Like, do I love Persian food because my mom cooked it every day, or you know, is it nature? Is it nature? Who mm -hmm. knows? Anyone from their world is an enemy. Take control of the situation. 